And in the last episode where we just got robbed and there's already people here, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, what is with this server? Uh, the truck has people on the back of it, the UAZ, I'm not sure how many people are there. Yeah, we're, about, we're around here, we're in this tree line. So what we're going to have to do is I'm going to take a route down to Cherno. Right, there doesn't seem to be anything up there. That was a waste of time. Okay, right, continue. Jesus Christ, I'm not even intending to go into these, or bump into these deer stands, but it looks like we've had grow a zombie. I think it'll be interesting in Daisy Standalone if they make it so that zombies can actually run in buildings a bit like you can. They need to really fine tune the zombie uh, running mechanics. Yeah, so I think that would be a better idea and uh, just make zombies have more in one location Make them less zigzaggy, but make them harder to kill. A bit like um, Warzy. I have been, oh, I had played that for a bit. My guest pass has run out now, so I can't necessarily play that anymore. I do have footage of it, which I think I can share with you um, soon, hopefully. I think the NDA has come up. If you do know about that, please let me know if the NDA has come up, because I honestly don't have time to check. So if it has, let me know and I'll make sure to make a video out of what I've got. And you guys can see some more Z on my channel. I haven't bought the game, so there isn't necessarily going to be a series of it yet. I am thinking of buying it just for you guys. If you want to see it, let me know again in the comments. There is a house over here that I should probably try and loot. But there's no zombies about. What the fuck happened there? All right, let's check this uh, doorstep. There is some stuff on here. Awesome. What do we have? A Coke can. That's fair enough. And let's swap out this macro of mag for a full one. There we go. Right. And let's go into this building and see if there's any food that we can replace that pasta we had earlier. There's a tent. Hmm. Interesting. I'm tempted to take that, but I know a lot of people on the server watch my videos now and um i can just imagine me like putting something really valuable in there and then somebody just like watching this video and then finding out where it is in between my play times and uh going and grabbing it which would be quite annoying so oh that's that's another reason i can't necessarily settle down because if somebody watches this i i have like disclosed the the server that i play on so People are going to know where to go and yeah, where exactly to go to find me it, and in, te in terms of like gameplay for you guys, that's not going to be very practical because basically people are going to come kill me, come and rob me and um, it's not going to be very fun. Whereas if nobody knows where I am ever, then it's a little bit better and <laughs> there's a chicken just standing in the middle of the road that those chickens are the most lethal things in this game if you ride over a chicken with a bicycle say bye bye to your life that's all i'm gonna say right we've come out all the way down here now uh jesus christ we've, like, we've run a long way and i can't believe i've nearly commentated the entire way but uh <laughs> holy shit right we're about here and we've ran all the way down this bloody road from Starry, which is about we were like here. Look how far that is. It's like half the fucking map. Okay, well anyway, we're nearly at Cherno. And um we have quite a lot of time left, so we're gonna be able to get into the hospital and then start to head up towards um Electro, which is where we're gonna head after this. Now hopefully, with any luck, there'll be people in Cherno. And uh, we can have some friendly experiences or maybe get robbed. Hopefully friendly experiences. But uh, we shall see. Actually, I haven't even changed the direct com yet because... There we go. Because I haven't needed to. Uh, I'm not sure what it defaults to on the server because side channel is disabled. Um, I can't stand side channel in, in other servers now. That blue writing in the bottom left is so distracting. And um, often you'll miss things that will get you killed. But on this server, it's completely disabled, so nobody knows where the hell you are, or I don't know how they can't communicate like across the bloody map without being near each other. 
which is all very well. And there was just a gunshot in Cherno. Interesting. Oh, it's the black cow from the last episode. Uh, it's come back to haunt us. And I wonder if I get close, will it disappear? Let's find out, shall we? The mystery of the black cow. Will he disappear? This is getting tense. Oh. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, well. Hey, Bessie. How's it going? Does it have horns? That's what I wanted to know last time. Yes, it does have horns. It's like a bull. Look at that. I didn't know you had bulls in this game. I would not want that to chase me right now. So they just stand here and like, kick me, bitch. Kick me. No, they don't kick you in this game. That would be quite funny if they did, though. Or if it just randomly came to life and started eating me. Yeah. Well, it is already technically alive. It was eating then. But, you know. Never mind. I'm getting off track. <laughs> right, we're coming up to Cherno now. We're going to head to the hospital at the north side, which is over... Where the hell is it? There. There we go. Right, where the apartment buildings are. We can go into the apartment building, see if we can find any food that will help us along our way. And why the fuck is there a zombie chasing us? Save me, sheep! Oh, dear. He's come from miles. He must have. Fuck okay, it, let's just shoot him. Uh, we don't shoot many zombies on this. I missed. How clever was that? He hit me. Did he honestly hit me? Oh my god. That's just... That's just stupid. I shot him. He died. But he still managed to hit me. Even though it didn't even play the attack animation. I think that's the next thing they should change. They should make it clear when zombies are hitting you. Um, make it so maybe the zombie animations are different. Like, they are going to completely revamp the animations, I believe. As well as like all the buildings and all that sort of stuff. Um, they're doing, they're making like Cherno or Shinaris Plus, I think it's called, like the map. Where all these like buildings that are normally not enterable will be enterable. And it's going to be epic, hopefully. But even if it was just the same, I'm sure plenty of people would still stay and watch it. It's one of those games that will always have a dedicated sub base. I can hear someone. Hello? Hello. Are you in this apartment building? I'm at yep. the bottom of the stairs. Trying to find Hello. Alice pack. But... Hello there. You friendly? Yes. How are you? Ah, good. I'm friendly too. Cool. Nice hero skin you got there. I'm working on it. These uh, buildings normally do have Alice packs, like you said you were looking for. Alright, thank you. I'll go check the mall instead. Well, uh, we need to get some blood packs, so that's what we're going to do. It's nice to uh, be someone friendly after being robbed last time. Let's have a look in here, shall we? Uh, well, we can't pick up anything from that box because it's got loads of shit around it. If we go into this box here. Uh, we can't get into this box for here. Fuck's sake, they've all got shit around them. Why is there loads of empty tin cans? Let's just throw them. Let's throw empty tin cans everywhere. It will make the zombies go away. Hopefully, if I don't miss. Alright, gear. Uh, empty tin can. Let's just drop it here. Get rid of this one. Oh dear, right. Go back into this box. Open my backpack. Um, I didn't ask that guy if he needed blood. Oh god. Uh, never mind. Actually, I need more morphine as well. Forgot about that. God, that zombie sounds really close. Right, let's get rid of these road flares. I don't even want to have them. Um, 
Should we take more morphine? Yeah, I think we shall. And that should be about it. Let's get rid of some painkillers and take another blood pack. Yeah, there we go. That'll do. There's a zombie just there. Lying down. Not really doing very much. And holy shit, the map just loaded. What the fuck is he doing? It's like, hey, I'm just going to lie here. Well, anyway, I'm going to go find this other guy. Where'd he go? Hello? Are you still here? Um, okay. Hello? I don't know if he's still around here. Um, but I wanted to basically ask him if he needed a bug pack. But if he doesn't, never mind. The zombies are following under this road or wall here, which would suggest that somebody went under there recently. But, um, not sure. Can never be sure in this game. Never be sure of anything. <laughs> right, I'm going to go to the military hospital now just to check the military tents for weapons. With any luck, something might have spawned. Is that a hatchback up there? It looks like it might be. Holy shit. If it's a working hatchback, I want it. It's a hatchback. Whether it's working or not is a different matter. Um, it's kind of in its low poly. Yep, there it is. That's pretty... Oh, fuck me. There's a lot of zombies around. And... Yeah. We need to lose these sons of bitches. Or shoot them. Or get in the car. Or both. Um, either way. I'm just going to check it quickly. And why is there loads of dead bodies around it? They... I, is it locked or what? I can't seem to get in it. The fuck? Uh, dead bodies. I will have to come back and check them once I lost these. Holy shit! What the fuck went down here? There's three army bodies. Like, they're donator skins, but still, holy shit. Um, the fuck went down? Oh, hello. There's another one around there. And um, what I'm trying to do is find a hole under this fence so that I can get around behind here. And then, oh, there's parts in there if I need parts to fix this car. I can head back to the bodies. Now, I'm not sure if there'll be anything on these bodies in particular. But I'm going to have to be careful. That zombie just looked behind him and did not see me, which is just as well. Because apparently you can't get in this hatchback. Which sucks. Anyway, this body here has got stanag mags on it. Anything on this one here. Uh, bandages, just the general starting stuff really. Doesn't look like these guys were well equipped and if they were, they probably got robbed. Which is not a good sign. Anyway, in here I just spotted some drink, and uh, you can never do without more drink. The guy with the Lee Anfield is sounding like he's in a bit of trouble. I'm not sure if that is the same person or not. Uh, whether we're not, we should go and find out. But um, I doubt it's anyone different, because I saw that guy with the Lee Anfield earlier. He's probably just busy killing lots of zombies. It's annoying that I couldn't get in that hatchback for some reason. I'm not sure if you can lock them in this game. Or in this server. Um, different servers have different rules. If that was a donator car, maybe then only the owner of it can get in. Something like that. But uh, if you do play the server and you do know what I'm talking about, then obviously let me know. Um, I do like to be informed. Now I'm running towards the gunshots. Not something you would normally do on Daisy, but if I give him a hand, uh, he may need blood and so on. So why not? Now, running towards gunshots is the first sign that you are becoming a hero. <laughs> because it means that there's somebody you can help. And uh, although it may be risky, often it'll be worth it in the end if somebody's been hurt, etc. Now we've got to follow the zombies. 
I'm just following the sound at the moment, um, which hopefully won't get, let me get shot. Um, but we'll see. There's a guy with a Winchester. That zombie on over there is running straight towards this guy, I think. I'm just going to follow this zombie. If I don't get stuck in a bush first. And... We shall see if we bump into him. Let's get the foul out. So I'm a bit more threatening. Should I uh, have a standoff? What's up, dude? Same guy? Hello. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Do you do you need um, any blood, by the way? I was gonna ask you earlier, but I forgot. No. Um, I'm good. Full health. Oh, okay. That sucks. <laughs> oh, well, this guy. If you need any supplies, by the way, there's an outpost nearby at uh, the construction yard. We've been building it and trying to stock up supplies for players to go fresh off the coast. Oh cool. Nice. Should have a little bit of everything. Awesome. And well, there's guns here and stuff. Yeah, this this is awesome. It's nice to actually hear of from other people in game rather than on the forums what's going on in the area. It's that's really cool. Um so it's like your mission to like collect supplies or something? Yep, pretty much. Is there many of you doing this sort of thing? Whatever. Or is it just like you? And well, a uh, of there's, there's maybe four or five of us around gathering stuff, but not, not right now. Usually only one at a time. I see. <sighs> Hope you got plenty of ammo for that, Liam. Yeah, You'll be here forever. Yeah, uh, I'm intentionally using this to attract zombies. I know the noise it makes, but... <laughs> I've had a rough day and I'm bringing it out on the zombies. Fair enough. Fair enough indeed. Right. Oh dear. I guess it's kind of like the perfect place for just farming zombies. Unless they come in the back. <laughs> And that's my contribution. Right, anyway, I um got to head to the other side of town. So um, I'll see you later, dude. Yeah. Good luck with good the collecting. One. Yeah. Well, as I thought, it was basically the same guy um, using his Lee Enfield to clear the area of zombies. Quite, quite a good idea, actually, because obviously they don't spawn if you're within the 200 meter radius. Um, I think. Because they spawn when you hit it, not after you hit it. So if you kill everyone within an area, you're going to have free reign to loot. Which is fair enough, um, I guess. But he did just say he was doing it to take out the zombies. But, you know, people do things for different reasons. Anyway, off we go to the far side of the town. I'm going to check out those military tents that I was going to say I was going to do earlier. Until I started running aimlessly towards Lee Enfield rifle shots. Which is not something you would normally do in Cherno. But this being a different server and the guy in a ghillie suit climbing up onto the top of Cherno Tower, you know, I can just kind of ignore that, you know? Good thing about a Daisy RP server. I can just ignore that guy climbing up there. Normal Daisy server? Probably would have shot him. As soon as I saw him. Guy in a ghillie suit climbing up onto the top of Cherno Tower? Yeah. Not going to survive very long if anyone sees you. Anyway, I'm not sure what he's exactly intending to do up there. It's not like you can communicate with anyone. Um, obviously, you can look around if you're if you're a member of a clan. You could probably scout the area for your clan for to go around in vehicles, pick people up. But um, yeah. Anyway, we're gonna just uh, quickly run through these tents. Not sure what we'll find. Probably this sniper guy on the top of the tower will spot me and a clan will come and try and pick me up but anyway we're nearly there and it looks like we made it 
I have no idea how that song goes. Right, the tents are over here. And the hospital is here. I could have just gone to the, this hospital if I'd intended to loot the tents in the first place, but I don't really think about it at the time. Hopefully, if I'm eh, if I'm lucky, there'll be something cool here. But it uh, looks like there's a few tents for loot um, farming. I guess that's a good thing for these guys who basically... Oh my, hello. There is an M4 A1 CCO. Interesting. Right. That bitch. Okay, what am I going to do about this? Because obviously it'd be cool to have a second gun. Uh, but I want all these medical supplies. That's the annoying thing. There's an M4A1 CCO. I want it, but I can't have it. It's kind of annoying. Hmm, what would you prefer, guys? FM foul or an M4A1 CCO? Let me know, guys, because I'm going to pick it up. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick it up now because I actually... It's actually at the time of the end of my episode. So I'm going to make space. I'm going to pick up the gun. I'm going to take a couple of ammo for it. There's, I think there was another one over here. Yep, another mag over here. And what we're going to do, I'm going to get, give you guys the chance to choose a gun for me. Um, FM foul or M4A1 CCO. And yeah, in the next episode, I'll choose that gun that you guys suggest. And I'll go back to the hospital. I'll switch or drop my gun. And then I'll... Um, pick up medical supplies and go on my way up to Electro and I'll probably check out this camp that these guys were on about um, if it is still there but anyway guys um, that's about it for today so thanks for watching it might have been a bit of a long one I'm not entirely sure uh, obviously when I was setting my timer halfway through with my using my arm as the to move my mouth um, I didn't um, yeah, I was kind of estimating the time. So if it's a bit of a long episode, I'm sorry. If it's a bit of a short episode, I'm sorry. If it's just right, that is cool. But uh, we're going to get to this tree line now. So hope you've enjoyed this one, guys. I know it's been a lot of running and not necessarily much has happened. It's cool to meet that friendly dude. Um, can't remember his name now, but he, ty he typed in chat so that I knew who it was. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next episode guys goodbye and there's a tent just there what the fuck but we're gonna log out anyway goodbye